another amazing episode of Brackish Water Outdoors. Uh, I haven't posted a vlog in a while. I posted some tips and stuff lately, but I just haven't had a chance to get out fishing. I've been super busy. So today happens to be a beautiful day in the fall. We're late September, going into early October. And I decided to get a little smallmouth action in before the uh, season comes to an end. It starts getting a little cool and stuff. So uh, today I decided to take the family out. So I got the wife, she's behind the camera, and then I got my little dog, Isabel. I've seen her in some of the other videos. So she's a little crazy, so if you hear some weird background noise, it's her. But uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, catch a few smallmouth today and uh, see how the day goes. So uh, stay tuned. hooked up it's been forever this morning we went a few hours at least before uh, we went at least a few hours between bites so it has not been a good day today but we finally got a nice small oh we got a, oh we got a really nice one hooked up here finally 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 but yeah and try to make sure you get oh that's a big one that's a big one Oh, Isabel, that's a big one. That's a big one, puppy. There we go. A nice small mole. So we just caught that guy on a nice drop shot. So far today, fishing sort of sucks. So it's about probably lunch. It's about lunchtime. It's lunchtime hour. So I'm gonna show you what we got for lunch today. I always like to do a little lunch segment. I'll usually make my lunch. So let's see what we got today. Got a nice white tortilla. Let's see what we got on here. We got. Make sure you show it so you can see. So we got some cucumbers, healthy onions, a little bit of uh, Carmela's goat cheese from the Okanagan, some smoked turkey, a little bit of uh, Caesar dressing, and spicy mustard. Lunch of champions. Excellent lunch today. Mm. Go on. Um, no. Okay. Nice and very slow fall bite today, so happy to get whatever we get. Oh. Not a bad little little gaffer, but at least gives us a little bit of action. Finally, oh, I wasn't even, barely even hooked the uh, hook line last suit him. All right, we just hooked up to another. This one's act, this is gonna be a really nice small mouth we just hooked up to. We've been uh, we've been starting to pick them up on the drop shot now. Not super consistent, but. We've been picking definitely a few up. I don't know if this is as big as the biggest one so far, but oh, he's a decent size. Whoa! Almost lost our dog. Another nice small mo. Oh, barely hooked. That hook just popped out. So we got another boat pretty close to I say over maybe a little over three. Decent small mo. Caught him on a uh, drop shot fishing the robo worm. It's been the hot bait today. Bam! We just moved out a little bit deeper off uh, the edge of a weed bed here and I seen a fish on a graph. I dropped down, I missed him the first drop. Oh. And then I, I threw a new uh, shad shaped worm on and this is the result. Come here. Ah. 
Calvin, get out of there. Another nice small mold. Yeah, I seen that guy on the graph. Drop that drop shot straight down, and boom, he inhaled it. Nice little small mold, eh? Not too bad. Here, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Fish kiss. Fish kiss. No, nope, no fish kiss. There we go. First fall loading, I guess, of the season. Um, I have a hard time. I have a hard time either breaking down the water or figuring out the water in the fall. I mean, we did catch. You seen the the video earlier there. We did catch a few decent smallmouth, but as top, it's not uh, like not hot like it was in the spring or the uh, summertime. So basically, the baits we ended up using today were that I actually produced were all on drop shot. One of my favorite methods: uh, the Yamamoto shad shaped worm perch. Pretty much any of the colors I tried were good, but perch is my favorite, so a little four inch shad shape. And then the other one that produced another nice fish today, and I missed a couple other ones on, was Robo Worm. Not too sure what this color is, but uh, it looks like a little perch or prism. I mean, it's like one of the prism perch color. Actually, that's what it is. I think it's a prism perch. And it was a really good uh, lure, too, when I was using it on the drop shot. So, one thing I do want to mention before this video is over is that. I tried to film this whole vlog on an iPhone. The reason why I did that is because I just want to show people like I usually use a GoPro and like there's way bigger fish than YouTube people out there that are using like two, three, sometimes even like a four thousand dollar camera. The average person, if you're not prof doing it professionally or getting paid, you can't afford that type of equipment unless you're really lucky. So I just want to show you a lot. Most people have iPhones, so I just want to show you that it can be done off your iPhone. Well, like, let me know in the comments how you thought this vlog was, and remember, live your passion. Thanks for watching Brackish Water Outdoors. We're out.